Hey everybody, I just wanted to record a full gameplay for once because I finally uh, finished I finished Fafnir Duel and that was a good time. Uh, I haven't uploaded in like two weeks, so I decided I wanted to come back strong and that's what the Fafnir Duel montage was for. And now that I've come back, I can I feel like I can upload full gameplays without kind of feeling guilty about all that. But anyways, a lot of people ask me, how do I play on the better gods because you know i'm playing underpowered gods all the time on youtube so i'm actually going to play one of the better dual gods today which is on her and it's one of the better dual gods i feel good on i feel very comfortable on my on her and i feel very good on him and uh instead of youtube being only guardians for the full gameplays i'm going to do a little bit of everything i'm going to do some ymir some on her some um, just my my favorite gods, pretty much, and then I'll slowly event learn the gods I'm not as great at. Um, I'm, I'm gonna kind of be treating it more like my stream, where my stream I pretty much play whatever I want and try and give the best insight I can to the gods I'm playing. Okay, on her versus Scylla, I've played this from both both sides. It feels like uh, oh, it's Pop Willy. Oh, dang, he has a lot of stars on Scylla. I had no idea. <laughs> Um, usually I'm fighting his on her, which is kind of funny, but anyways, I, I feel like this matchup does go to on her in the early game. Obviously, if Scylla manages to make it to late, late game, so a incredibly strong late game, she can win it and she takes the advantage then, but on her doesn't lose either. So, so on her wins the early pretty hard. Um... Bet kind of loses late, but he can still win. That's that's my how I feel about this match. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, and Jorm is allowed in duel tomorrow. I'm probably it's what time is it? It is 6:42 p.m. I could upload this video today, or I could wait till tomorrow. But I'm probably gonna record a a Jorm duel video at the crack of dawn tomorrow. To be honest. Okay, he just uses clear on me, which I actually prefer. That's really good. Yeah, I'm so excited for Jorm in Duel. I'm going to be working on a montage for him, like, right away. Okay, she's poking me with everything she's got. Do you think I could actually take this? No, I can't. That's a bad idea. At first, I was only going to take the minis, but then I realized that she, he still had a full wave. So I was like, yeah, maybe I can. He has no potions, is the thing. Going to want to bait his two. Okay. Still has slightly better clear than me, but um. Okay, that was pretty ballsy. <laughs> that was a pretty ballsy play. Especially since he's out of mana now. <laughs> to use his escape to go in when he didn't even have that much mana. Like, seriously. Dang. I don't know. I think placing the three initially, I thought that was a mistake, but then he teleported to it a little bit after, so I can't take this actually kind of sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot. I will die to that, even if I pop my potion. It doesn't regen fast enough. I should have just backed right away. Yeah, look, if I stayed, I would have died 100%. Even if I popped my potion, because she would have been right there. But she didn't get a uh, red buff, so that's fine. So I have first blood, and neither of us have any buffs, so that's good. Um, the part where, if she hits a second, that's where it can get kind of dangerous for me, because obviously it cripples, and she can just drop her kit on me and do a lot of damage. Her 1-2 does about half my health. And her 1-4 does about, I want to say, 3 quarters of my health. So if I'm kind of poked out, she can kill me. But that's why I have Aegis. So she's not going to try to do that unless she wants to waste her kit, I guess. Because then I would just Aegis and retaliate. And try to take this. Nice. I was worried she was going to ult for that. But I guess it wouldn't have been worth it for her. So I'm ahead by about 700 gold, which is good. I'm about 700 gold behind. Thanks, right there. I'm 700 gold ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. Shoot. I'm scared of that, too. Oh, really bad. Oh, but she doesn't have enough mana. She, if she had enough mana there, she could have ulted me, and I would have been really bad. I thought my Aegis when she completely whiffed it, too. Um, I, I shouldn't have bought my Aegis. Obviously, bad reaction for me. I just, I, all I thought in my head was, she's throwing it too, there's no way she's gonna miss it. So I was like, I got Aegis. 
but that was that was a bad agent on my part. But either way, uh, only able to turn around because she hadn't didn't have Nana. If she did have Nana, I would have had to juke her alt with, which out boots is pretty impossible. With boots, it's not too bad to juke it, but still kind of a hopeless situation. Or more hopeless than hopeful, if that makes sense. Also, I like on her because she has drama skin. <laughs> Completely unrelated. But yeah, on one of the few quote unquote OP gods in duel I actually am good at. Whereas most OP gods in duel I'm pretty bad at. Why did she do that? Why does he do that? That uses her that escape and everything, you know? I guess it did put me in kind of a bad spot, but... I don't know. It feels, it feels kind, of, kind of super risky. To me, anyways. Oh? No, 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 no. That's gonna be fine. Her ult should still be down. And for a good amount of time, too. <gasps> I missed! No! That's really bad. She's about to get her ult in a tiny bit. If she ults, I get free ult. Because her hitbox is just so large. I can totally kill her. Why did I place a warden ring? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> did not even mean to do that. Okay. She, do I go for it? No, I don't. <laughs> and I'm bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. The ward's actually helping me. Nice. Nice. I can kill her. Why did my meat not go max distance? Why did my meat not go back distance? I, I used my meat back distance. I'm about to move my mouse towards me. What? I guess I did that without realizing it? I don't know. I'm a little confused. Oh, wait, that's fine. I screwed that up. I had two opportunities. I could have impaled her here against the wall and then ulted to kill her. I, and then here I also messed up with the leap. So it's not like it's not like I deserve doing that fight. I messed up too many times. Also, also, I, I forget that YouTube, I don't update very often. Uh, I got Masters. I got Masters and then I got demoted out of it three days later. So now I'm officially, I'm officially a Masters player or previous Masters player. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I don't know. One of my goals was to get Masters at least once. I don't care that I got demoted, but I got Masters once and I'm happy. And my first Masters game, I played Aries in Duel. I played Aries twice. I lost horribly, but it's fun. I did that, I did that on stream. I don't blame her for tire sitting. So, so, so squishy, you know? Why would you do that when my leap is up, right? Right? To be fair, she did get me super low. She does have red buff. Which is a little bit scary. Okay, her escape is down. Her escape is down. Let's just go for minis. Nothing's up. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm still ahead by 1,000 gold. So it's just... Oh! Um, little tip on her is I, I can actually sneak gold in, like, super, super well. What I can do is I can do this. A lot of people don't know this about Andre. I put it in one of my Twitch clips video. And that you don't... You can do this without taking any damage from Boldenon. I don't, I don't think I took a single... Maybe, like, one hit from Boldenon. And Andre can take it super fast because it's passive. Lowering the enemy's protections by 20. It's really good. Um, Beans is good against Sola. Next item's gonna be Executioner. Executioner works really well with uh, Andre because... It lowers their protections by the percent, the 36% on execution, and then the on her passive applies. So then they have 20 protections after that reduced, which is even better. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, I got rages. <laughs> Whatever. I think I outpressure her as well. Oh shoot! Oh my god! I, I could have aged, but I, I don't know. I felt like I still would have died if I aged because she would have just waited on the delay. Of her, too. I oh, know, that's scary. <laughs> Ooh, 1 HP, then! Not actually 1 HP, but close. That was super close. But yeah, I need... I, I, some people ask me if I read the comments. I read every single comment. Sometimes I go back on old videos and, and read the, the comments on those that I didn't get notified. But as long as YouTube notifies me, which usually it's pretty good about notifying me about new comments, I read every single one. There's been a handful of times where it doesn't notify me on older videos, but I eventually see them, even if it takes a while. But I, I would like to hear you guys' feedback on what types of gods I play, whether it's the gods I'm good at, the OP gods I'm good at, or the, the, the low tier gods I'm good at. Which, those are my favorite, the low tier gods I'm good at. That's kind of bad for me, but I was able to juke, which is good. Very nice. Scylla is getting into her late game, though. She's getting that, that power. Like, how much power is Scylla late game? They buffed it a while back. I think it's over, it's 100 or more power. Might even be, might be more, I don't remember. I think it is 100 power. So it used to be 20, and now it's 25, I think, for her ability. So, when she has all of her abilities matched, she gets free 100 power. I ran to get my execution online. If he hurried with that, he might have been able to stop me. Now, do I want lifesteal? I, I don't know if I should get lifesteal. I'm gonna do it. And also, he can save me, or just keep me in the fight. She is going up to the end shards, so I don't want, I don't want double defense. Good stuff. Um, too bad, uh, Bulldemon is still down. Oh no, it's up now, okay. Speaking of devil. So I can take Goldeemon pretty easily, which is really, really good. Yeah, what the, the trick is, 
to, because Bogeyman will actually kill the pillar if it walks through the wall. The, the key is to place the pillar once it stops moving. That's the trick to it. People always ask about that. You can do the same thing with the Titan. It's kind of busted, which is one reason Andre's busted. But yeah, some people were wondering um, how good I could do with some of the better gods, so I thought I'd show YouTube, although I do play these gods on stream. I used to not, but now I play them pretty often. Another god that I've been getting into that's kind of busted is Neath. Um, I've known Neath is busted, but only at very high level play, like where, because you just can't close the distance with her. She has so much control and such high damage. Her ultimate into her one is insane. Especially if you read in autos. Honest. It's bad. Okay, not bad. Uh, ate that ultimate. That didn't do that much damage. He might not be leveling up all. Alright, alright. She's almost at late game, so it's like, it could go downhill here, which could be scary. Whoops. That was dumb of me. That's her escape down. I'm missing everything. I don't know why she always places the the uh, three so close to me, you know? Like, that's using your escape and putting you close to and on her. That's scary. It's a scary place to be. I missed. That's fine. Actually, I shouldn't have picked that up. Whatever. Okay, that's game. Yeah, I would say another three levels and she would have been able to come back because of the late game. Like, she just got her obsidian line and, you know, one more item. And that then so late game gets super strong. Especially if that was going to be a chrono spin it, which I think it was going to be. Still with max cooldowns is scary. Actually, no, it would have been a Tahuti or Doomar because she had Breastplate of Valor. So that would have been max CDR late game with a potion. I don't think Papa Wheelie was going for that. Either way, GG will play it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to be playing a lot of Joram Duel on stream on patch day so make sure to tune into that and i'll have a video up that morning as well so see y'all